Hello, and welcome back to Zim Tutorials for Adobe Animate. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a feature of Zim called Transform, and there's also a Transform Manager. So, if we scroll on down to the gold bars of Zim down here, you'll see Zim Kids. And in Zim Kids, we teach a bunch of lessons on the basics of JavaScript in general. And then we have some fun ones with these interactive bugs, and we make some things. One of the things we make is this blockhead tutorial here, where we can drag the parts around, like so. In level two, we show animating those, but in level three, we show the transform manager right here, where we can make those parts bigger and smaller, and uh, we can wiggle or squiggle, squiggles, okay? And watch this. If we reset this or rewind, whoosh, that's the first part. Uh, here's the second part, and then here's the third part. And look at that. They stay where we've set them. So let's see how we can do that type of thing where we're using the transform manager to change the transformations of objects on the screen, but then remember them. All right, let's go into Adobe Animate here and say file, uh, new file. I guess we'll get it from the presets here. A very high preset and create. We'll bring in our profile. So under more settings, import the profile. This was the profile that we made way back in the first tutorial, about 20 tutorials ago, something like that. Um, all right, so that brought in our Zim Shim and changed our stage around a little bit or how the scaling of the stage will be. Let's save the file, file save as, and we'll call it number 19 hmm transform like that and open up f9 so we're going to be doing this with zim objects but you can transform create js objects too so right up here we will say zim what was this 19 and, well, put it lowercase, transform, like so. And let's make a circle, new circle, dot center, and dot drag. Let's just review our dot drag for a second, and we'll make this 100 comma red, like so, control enter. We did something not quite right. Did I save? Centered and new circle. Um, can I see anything? Oh, I see something. We would have had an error because that wouldn't have made, made any sense to the computer. We need a comment. Comment there. So there's our circle, and we're centering it and dragging it. So that's one thing we can do is we can drag, but if we want to transform, then we do as follows. Instead of drag, we say transform like that. And so it's almost the same thing. And now when we go control enter, we can drag it, but we get this transform manager that lets us do all sorts of transformations. Okay, this uh, little thing right there, that's its registration point. So it uh, moves around the registration point. And you can turn it off and on again by clicking off and on. Okay, there's all sorts of different settings as well, such as the, the box size, the dashes, whether or not you want to allow this and whether you want to have that. And so any of the transformations, you can specify only certain transformations or, you know, not certain types. Okay, great. So <laughs> that's how you transform something. Wow. All right, very cool. Um... I just thought of something that you might want to see. If there's a border, dark, and say 10, uh, I'll put 5 here, uh, that looks like this. When you transform, the border also gets bigger, and you may or may not want that. 
So there's a parameter called border properties. I don't know, um, what is it called? Uh, stroke properties, stroke object, so stroke object. So I suppose the easiest way is to set up a style. It's, it's a little bit further on down and you might have other shapes and presumably if you were transforming a bunch of shapes, uh, the point is you can make it so that the border doesn't scale with it. And if you're going to do it with one shape, probably you want to do it with all shapes. Therefore, most likely a style would be a good thing to do here. So you would then say stroke obj like that is equal to, and in here you can specify, hmm, uh, there's something about a scale in here. What is it? Um, ignore. It's Unfortunately, it's a neg uh, like a negative thing, ignore scale. And so I'm now going ignore the scale, true. Okay, this may or may not work. I can't remember for sure. Um, due to a certain reason. When we pass in the squiggly brackets, that could possibly be a ZIMV value, but uh, we'll try it anyway, see if it works. It looks like it's still scaling the border to me. Yeah, definitely is. So that didn't quite work. So let's do a couple checks here. One is back in Zim, or I'll hit the docs. Well, okay, I'll hit Zim and then docs is right here. And we'll look up circle hit enter. It's called the stroke obj and now we can go down and read about it. Stroke obj. Ignore scale. That's the default. So ignore scale is false by default. Those are the defaults. We want to set ignore scale true. So it looks like we've done that, haven't we? Style stroke obj colon ignore scale true. All that spelled right. right. So it may be that it's treating that as a ZIMV value. And um, that happens too if you have a style of uh, a corner. Well, a circle won't have a corner, but we would put in an array here of say 30 comma 0 comma 30 comma 0. That's, that would style the corner to that array, but unfortunately an array is pick one of those things in the ZIMV values. So if we don't want to pick it, then we go no pick colon. So we pass in what's called a no pick object like that. It just holds the value that we want to provide, but don't pick from it. And so we're going to need to do that down here on these squiggly brackets. Which squiggly bracket I was doing there? Anyway, there you go. And let's see if it works. So now when we do that, yeah, that works. So you see how this stroke hasn't gotten bigger? It just stays five, even if we go smaller now, you can really start to see it. Okay, so that might be desirable with your transforms. Here, especially um, on when you're transforming only the X or the Y, now the stroke of that is still the same, whereas before it was really fat on the ends here and skinnier up here. It's, it's a little bit awkward when you're transforming strokes. So the second part of this then is how do we remember? Well, let, let's make a few more things and then we can remember a bunch of them. Let you get that. That's a no pick object that we pass through to the style of the stroke object. I suppose I can go down to here like that. <clears throat> well, we can copy this and make a new rectangle. This could also be your movie clip, or it could be a, uh, a picture, like a new pic. If you do a picture, you might not want to allow them to transform the uh, scale X. And, or let's see, how, how is um, the one sides? OK, so take a look when you've got this happening. It's, it's okay to scale a picture like that from the corner, but not from the sides. Well, unless you want them to change the aspect ratio. So we can turn off the scales at the sides. If you look at the dock on transform. So stretch X and stretch Y, you just set those to false. 
leave the scale true though. And if you want to be able to rotate it, then keep the rotate true. That's by default. All right, so we've made a rectangle now. We'll make it 200 uh, blue, 200 by 200. Let's add it first. Um, in Adam, I go control arrow and I shift the, the lines there anyway. We'll add the rectangle first. We don't have to center them all, but we have. And we'll center one more thing on here, a new blob. <laughs> Missed. Uh, a new squiggle. New squiggle. Dot center. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe we could change the color of that squiggle. So we've got a squiggle here. We've got a circle. And we've got a rectangle. And they're, these guys are doing the transforms. Note that the squiggle itself already has transform-like qualities, so we don't bother transforming the squiggle. It already can transform like that and like so. Okay, I mean, you could, but uh, we tend not to. However, when I refresh, they all go back to where they were. So how do we make it so that we can record all of these? That's done with the Transform Manager. New Transform Manager, like so. Um, I think we pass in the objects that we want to transform. It might do them all if we just say, see if it does them all on the stage. I, I can't, can't remember if it does. But we have to give it an ID, um, such as animate. Okay, let's have a look and see if it remembers these things by default or not. And I refresh the page, and it doesn't. Okay. So that means we need to pass in an array of each of these things. And since we haven't named them, we need to give them names. So const r is equal to our rectangle. Const c is equal to our circle. Const s is equal to our squiggle. And we say r, c, and s. OK, now we'll be in better stead. So whatever we want to remember, we pass into the transform manager and give it an ID of some sort. We just make that up. OK, and now let's put that up there. Let's put this down here and put that over there. You ready? We refresh. Oh, look at that. It's the same. If we turn that on and refresh, oh, it's on. Turn that one. Uh, turn more than one on? I guess not. So we can only transform one at a time. Change that to here. What do you think? Refresh. Wow, it's the same. So here, in terms of transforms, we can make that bigger. Let's squeeze it this way. Let's put it over there. Let's make a little guy. Hello. This is his arm. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I hope it's his arm. <laughs> we refresh. It's a little guy. Isn't that cool? I could close down the browser, come back, and it would be a little guy. What happens if we go Control-Enter? Oh, I'm back in Flash. Back in Flash, Control-Enter. Ah, look at that. So it remembered it even through, there's the previous one. Here's our next one. So it remembers it on this server. So having that, OK, that's wonderful. You can let people make a collage. And when they come back in and refresh, their collage is saved how it was. Very nice. It doesn't let you show a collage to a friend. That For that, you would have to add it to a database. And Zim's got all sorts of things to help out with databases, like bind and um, async and Ajax. Sorry, it's annoying. Um, let's see. So isn't that neat? What else do we want to do though? How how do you, how do you clear it though? So how about we make a button? And this one will have a label that says, quote, clear. And we'll dot pose that at 100, 100 from the right at the bottom. When we dot tap on that, we'll call this arrow function. Uh, uh, when we tap, we'll call this arrow function. 
in that arrow function, we need the transform manager ID. So const tm for transform manager tm.clear. Okay. Oh, uh, we have to clear the ID. Like so. Okay. So we save that up and we refresh. You know what? Do we have to clear the ID? Um, I should have been able to store that ID on the transform manager and just say clear and it would have chosen the stored ID. I'm not sure. Let's try it both ways. So there it remembered, but now we hit clear. Note that it didn't delete it, but if I refresh, hmm, in order to do it there, F12. Ah, clear is not a function. So right, yeah, it was um, not quite that. Uh, it was clear transform. Uh, no, it was forget or something. Uh, let's look it up. <laughs> I've forgotten. <laughs> So trans, here's the transform manager. So note that if I go to the top here and I look up trans or transform, it finds transform first and I hit go again and it finds transform manager. So here are the methods, add, remove, show, hide, resize, persist, clear persist. So right here and then you pass it the ID. Okay, there's a few other options in there. So clear persist is what it was. Control enter and we hit clear. When we refresh, it's back to the beginning again. Okay. Refresh, there it is. I hit clear, refresh again, back to the beginning. Okay. Well, that's pretty neat, huh? So you can do that at any time you need. There are more things to look at with transform. Uh, let me just show you in, in Zim here. First of all, you can take a look at the transform or the code here for the transform manager or what we were doing with the kids. There's the transform manager. There's the reset, very much the same. Reset that on click, tran clear. Um, oh. Uh, to clear it and make it actually go away, we just reloaded the current location. That's, uh, we'll just reload the page and it would be cleared. So that's how we handled clearing it there. But back in Zim, let me see if I can find under examples here. So on the Zim site under examples, this might be a little bit tricky to find. Let's see, did we introduce that in Zim 10? If so, or did we do it in Neo? But if we introduced it in Zim 10, that's all in here somewhere is, there it is, Zim 10 features. Let's have a look. I'm gonna scroll on down, retina, Zim on tiles, flipping control styles. No, I don't see it there. Okay, oh. Uh, I know how we can find it. If we go to the docs, it's called layer is what I'm looking for. Well, let's just do a search here, but I can find it in the docs layer now that I've remembered what it's called. Layer, where what did it find here? Transformable layers. Okay, so if you if you went to the doc and looked up transform, it would probably mention about these things called layers. And indeed, if you go to the docs here, go to the docs and type in layer, like that, there's layer. And this is probably the, the example that we're looking at. Oh, well, similar to it. This is, no, it's a different layer, actually, a different example of Zim layer. So how, what layer does is it allows you, so if I have layer zero, this is holding, it allows you to nest layers. This is, um, Layer zero holds layer one and layer two. So we can transform layer, the layer inside here. Just missed. So we can transform the layer inside like that. You see that? And we can transform this whole outer layer as well. This is very complicated code to do this kind of stuff. 
you can also pick up layers and dock them. Did that dock maybe because it's inside the other one, it didn't dock. So it's a little bit different dock that one. Anyway, you can dock these things at the side. Let's go to the other example and see what that looked like that was here. So there they are actually starting docked on the edge. Uh, how do you undock them? Sure, can't remember. Pull it, pull it away from there. Maybe it's not allowed. Oh, dock and undock. So um, you can choose whether these things are docked. I'm going to undock them, and now they've all gone to their places, like that. And if you do want to dock them, oh, that didn't dock them either. Let's see how do you dock? Uh, ah, there. No, that didn't dock just kind of hung out on the edge there. Perhaps I've, I've turned the docking off on it, just because we're going to dock this way. But anyway, I thought it was you just drag them to the edge and that, that docks it, but it's not, it wasn't quite working for me. Ghosts, what are ghosts? Oh, those are the little ghosts. So you can just keep these things around without the, the little ghost outlines like that. Uh, or these little dash lines. And what are layers? Oh, then you can keep the, uh, you, you can transform, <laughs> pick up these things. It looks like I can't, I, I can't quite easily grab the layers though, because I'm grabbing now all of the things inside the layers and moving them around. But anyway, so bring back the layer thing and that allows you to drag the whole of, of it all. So anyway, it can be quite complex like that where you can um, group your transform managers with these things called layers as well. All right, why don't we leave it at that? I'm Dr. Abstract. It's been a pleasure to be here with you doing a tutorial on transform. So you can take any display object, just add dot transform on it, and you can have this transformable uh, box with little handles. We also saw that we could save all of those with the transform manager quite easily. We're even teaching kids how to do that. And then if we wanted to get a bit more complex, we've got this layer system, which allows you to nest transformable objects. Have a great day or night, and please come visit us at zimjs.com discord and zimjs.com slack if you have any questions, need help or anything, or just want to chat with us. Cheers.